that is the bomb bomb.com is up guys welcome back to my channel today is really smoky outside holy smokes it's so smoky that the bright sunshine actually looks like it's about to rain outside i sound like i have a cold because i've spent many many days in the poorest air quality in the nation so if it sounds like i'm sick or my eyes are bloodshot you know why but beyond that, I received a very special package yesterday and I cannot wait to try this on. And that's because it's Soul Body's new face and body bronzing balm. If you've ever watched my channel before, you know I love balm. Balm, balm, balm. Balm, 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 balm. I also like movie quotes. And so, in order to liven up my spirits and forget about the fact that I can't breathe well, I am going to try these on camera for the first time with you guys, give you my first impressions, do a couple swatches, and try this out underneath makeup, on top of makeup, and give you guys some close-ups overall so you can actually see what this looks like on real skin. So, as per usual, I'm just gonna shut up. Let's go. All right, so currently, as you can plainly see, I have nothing on. About an hour ago, I put a face primer on, and that's the Cover FX Gripping Primer, which is one of my favorites, and I'm almost out. I love it so much. Outside of that, I am keeping it clean because I want to put the balm all across my face and also on my skin so we can see what it actually looks like since it's face and body. I purchased two different colors. One that I feel like would match my skin tone a little bit more and one that I could use as a bronzer. In addition, I also got the rounded kabuki brush which they advertise to go along with the balm to apply it. So we're gonna be using this as well to see if this makes a difference. So I had the shades medium and dark and I'm gonna swatch them both for you guys really quick. So here is is the medium shade. This is the one that I was kind of hoping would be more like my skin color, which it is clearly not. Now, granted, I do have lights happening here, so my skin does look a little bit lighter than it is actually in person, but this, I swatched it the other day and I was like, holy moly. So we're gonna give this a go, and then I'm going to use the dark shade as a bronzer, because this looks dark. So the consistency on this is actually really interesting. So it's super thin, very thin, and then once you blend it out, it comes out very sheer, and it dries down fairly quickly. And in this case, it looks like it dried down to like a powdery finish. So it, it is not greasy in any way. It is definitely Definitely more of like a powder to satin finish. Here's the dark shade. So as you can see, you can sort of blend this out a little bit. You can shear it out as long as you keep rubbing it in. And it becomes more of like a powder finish at the end. It's really interesting. So medium up here, dark down here. Fascinating. I have no idea what this is. But this is like my favorite smell of a body product like ever. I could smell this all day. Cinnamon shortbread. Snickerdoodle cookies. I don't know what this is. It smells so good. It's like a spicy vanilla. I don't even know how to describe it, but I would burn this in a candle all over my house. Okay, so since I am a self-tanner, you can obviously see this is more tan than this. I'm going to even it all out, hopefully, by using the medium shade and the kabuki brush, which I've actually never tried, but it's actually a really lovely brush. So I'm gonna just go in here sparingly, just, just a titch, mind you. Hey, that's not so bad. Whew. 
That is better, in fact. So interesting. So this actually dries down fairly quickly. The way that they have this kind of advertised is that it's more of like a blurring quality. I don't know about blurring, but it definitely evens out the skin tone a little bit. It gives me the color to sort of match my neck, which is good. Actually, what I'm thinking is since this dries down fairly quickly, you could definitely layer this to quite a bit to make it what you want. That's a nice, lovely bronze and it really evened this out. So extremely interesting. And now let's try a little bit of the medium down my arm on the side of my shoulder to see how that looks. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of that medium color. Oh, that's lovely. This smells so good. I can't, if you don't like cookies and spiced cookies and spiced bread and muffins, then you won't like this. And you also don't need to like my channel. I mean, so the difference is right here. This is the side, obviously, that has the bomb on it, and then this side doesn't. So um, it works very well and super clean and neat as a bronzer. There's no greasiness. There's not even a bit of dew, which is interesting for a bomb. I actually really, really enjoy that, especially for the end of summer, kind of where I live if I'm wearing shorts. And to be quite honest, we just really didn't get a whole lot of sun out here in California this year. So uh, any bit of extra bronzing, great. So for the rest of the video, you get to see one bronzed arm and one white arm because I'm gonna save this one for the dark. And so in the meantime, I am going to layer a little bit of whatever's happening here with the balm on my face with foundation, things that I would normally go in with. Very natural, very basic, nothing crazy. We're just going to test if things can apply on top of very smoothly. To do that, I'm gonna go in with my recent ride or die, It Cosmetics, your skin but better with skincare. I'm gonna do the lightest layer of this product ever and do a very nice sheer wash across my face. And we'll do a little bit of a close up afterwards. Okay, so here we are up close. It actually looks fairly good so far. Um, I'm gonna put some powder on top of this because that's what I would normally do. Just because I feel like maybe the, the texture or maybe even the kabuki brush sort of sort of emphasized my pores a little bit right here. Um, that also could just be me, because uh, I have huge pores. But um, we're going to try a little bit of powder over it for the sake of doing uh, makeup exactly how I would normally do it, just to see how this works. So I'm gonna go in with the stuff you guys are absolutely sick of hearing about, which is the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte powder and I'm going to use the Real Techniques powder sponge and just, you know, tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot to do my concealer. I'm just, I'm getting ahead of myself. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Reel it back. Reel it back. To get on with, to get on with. So much time and so little to do. Strike that. Reverse it. Now we're gonna go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I'm gonna do a very, very small amount of this. And then we'll add powder over the top of everything to see how it lays. Okay. Now let's go in with some powder. Okay, so here we are after powder. Not too crazy. Um, I feel like this might just be like a bad pour day. Um, but everything feels really smooth. There's no dewy, uh, sticky, tacky texture at all. Cause like I said, it really dries down to like a powder finish. So what the box says is that it says you can build to desired coverage so i was right and it can be applied on arms decollete and legs or over a fresh face 
or makeup. So let's test out this dark shade now as a bronzer. I picked a nice little like dense buffing brush that I felt like could be used in the same manner as the Kabuki brush. And then I'll pull that Kabuki back out to do this other uh, white arm that's just sitting out here randomly. In the meantime, we're gonna try this as a bronzer. So I am going to dip into this, swirl it like I would the Kabuki. Wow, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. Blend this puppy out here, oh my, oh heavens. Okay, so you just need a little bit. Let's uh, try and tone this down, eh? Okay, better. Let's go in extremely sparingly. Okay, yes, that is just lovely. Blend in there, oh, that's very soft and beautiful. Bad, good. Watch and learn. Yeah, watch and learn. Watch and learn, he says. Well, I was watching, know what I saw? Wow, this is very lovely. It's like a cream bronzer, almost like the Tandy Chanel, but a little bit thinner, a little more emollient at first than the Chanel bronzer is more of like a moussey texture compared to this is just very, very thin and almost grease-like, but doesn't feel greasy and everything, look, it's just like a dry powder. It's so interesting. You could easily build this up, but look at it. It gave me such a beautiful bronze look. I'm definitely excited to uh, keep trying this out and playing with this. I think this is a very lovely, healthy glow. Okay, let's go ahead and add in the rest of the products very, very quickly. We're not gonna do anything super crazy. I just wanna give you my final thoughts on this. Let it kind of sit for a couple hours and see how it feels, if it gets greasy, if it dries down even worse. Um, but for now, let's add the rest of the products to this and see how well other things lay along with this. I'm going to use a little bit of the ColourPop cream shadow because this stuff is so good and just add in a very light layer kind of go with this bronzy vibe sometimes simple is just what looks the best and in this case i love it i'm gonna do an extremely extremely small amount of brows do a little bit of this physician formula organic wear brow shaping gel <laughs> In addition, I'm going to add the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Dewy Elixir Blush, so I do have a little bit of dew to my face. There's that dew. It's almost too much dew, actually, but, um... It'll tone itself down in just a minute. A little Ico Black Magic. A little Ritual de Feel Phosphine for a small amount of glow. And last but certainly not least, I'm gonna use this Power Glass Lip Plumping Gloss from MAC. It seems scary, but it doesn't come out like this. Watch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See what the smoke is doing to me? I forgot my arm. Okay, pulling back out the Kabuki brush, and we're gonna do the dark on this arm and see what the difference is on that. <sighs> the smell is so good. 
It's really such an interesting formula. I, I actually really like that. I enjoy that a lot, especially in the winter time when you don't want to tan your entire body because only just like your forearms and neck are peeking out and then you can just put this on and it looks like you've actually taken the time to put tanning on your body when you really didn't. I am the laziest beauty YouTuber. Lovely. I actually don't see a huge difference between the two arms. I'm sure if I built this one up a little bit longer, it could be dark. Okay, so these are actually $15 a piece. I feel like that is a crazy, crazy good price for exactly what you're getting because there's a lot of other similar type products that you could use out on the market for double, if not triple the price of $15. There are actually seven different shades of this balm, so you could actually use them to have just a body balm, one for your face, one as a bronzer, one for contouring, however you see fit with that. I will give you guys an update in the description box below how it wore the rest of the day. I am in a wild fire type inferno situation so it may melt quicker it might not look great after a certain amount of time so I will definitely keep you guys posted in the description box down below if you currently buy the body bomb I believe you get the kabuki brush for five dollars and normally it's like twelve dollars so it's a very interesting and unique formula I actually feel like this could replace my Chanel um, tan soleil soleil de tan de Chanel whatever bronzer I really 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 like it across the body I like the way it feels I love the way it smells love the way it smells you could definitely use this just as like base across your whole skin to sort of even out your whole skin tone or if you just want to add a little bit of tan to your complexion this would be fantastic for me personally I don't know that I would use it underneath my makeup as an all-over base I particularly think I'm going to be using this quite a bit as a bronzer I even think you could use it as an eyeshadow gosh darn it I should have tried that and I will be using it as a bronzer for my body for sure because I like that it dries down and doesn't feel like it's gonna rub off at all so that is a major plus for me all right that's gonna do it for me today guys I will link the swatch chart down below definitely check it out and don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave I would super appreciate that and hit the notification bell so you can be reminded the next time I upload a video it's somewhat sporadic on my channel enough said Definitely hit the like button if you guys love affordable makeup and you like ColourPop and all of their sister brands because I sure do. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and like to know. I use them in conjunction with each other so you guys can shop any kind of makeup that I love on a picture that I post or any time that there is a sale and I like to post and let you guys know. Definitely head over to the community tab on my page. I absolutely love the heck out of you guys over there. You make me laugh. You make me smile. It's such a good spot on my channel to get sneak peeks, vote in some polls, and then I kind of give you guys some life updates or let you know a little bit more about what I'm doing on my channel. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.